What's up, y'all? Welcome to part two of my ongoing positioning guide. If you're new here, I'll link part one in the video and the description if you're lucky. If you're not new here, then this video, we're gonna be talking about one specific micro positioning tool, flanking. It's probably the most known technique, but I solo queue a lot and some of you guys make the worst flanks. So I wanted to give this some extra attention. All right, let's get into it. So there are two different types of flanks, the soft flank and the hard flank. A soft flank is a flank where you have the option to escape, like if you reposition to the side for a different angle. With Mobile Legends, this is pretty low risk and I highly recommend using this often. A hard flank, which is what most people think of when flanking, is a flank where you reposition directly behind the enemy team and have no escape. This is very high risk, high reward, and most times not worth it. A lot of hard flanks start off as soft flanks, but not always. So here's a quick example of a soft flank. We had been poking at this team for a while, but nothing was really happening. I noticed this Bloodhound is slightly overextended from his team, so I soft flank to the left and get this easy knock. After that, it's a 3v2, and when I get some damage on this Loba, my team pushes up for an easy dub. Anyone can position themselves for a soft or hard flank, but the most important thing about flanking is timing. In a high time to kill shooter like Apex, timing is everything. A few seconds is the difference between getting a clean wipe or getting sent back to the lobby. You can't just flank at any time. Good teams will either see your teammates as an easy 3v2 or single you out for an easy 3v1, especially if they have a bloodhound. So let's talk about the best times to flank. One, you're not needed at the front line. If your teammates are dealing a lot of damage and keeping the enemies focused but can't get a knock, take that time to reposition to secure a knock and then the team can commit to pushing. 2. You're at a stalemate. If nothing eventful is happening in the fight but you have to make a play because you're worried about a possible third party, search for an off angle to catch somebody off guard. 3. If you're able to do it very quickly. Mobile legends like Octane or Pathfinder can go from the front lines to behind the enemy in seconds. If you have the opportunity to do that, it's much less risk because they will assume you haven't completely repositioned. 4. If you're arriving late to the fight. If you're late to the fight and your teammates are healthy and holding it down, it's much easier to enter the fight at an off angle and really catch the other team off guard. Here's a quick example of my third point about being able to do the flank very quickly. After my first shots, I'm able to jump pad and then stem behind the other team. This flank only took me around 10 seconds and I got a free knock on the Jimby even though they had the high ground. After that, it's an easy wipe. That's going to wrap up the flanking section of my guide on positioning. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe for the rest of the series. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter, Inco We Trust. Thanks for watching. Peace.